Okay, Noam team, students and parents, it's Mr. H here with our weekly update for social studies. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to get one of these videos put together, so I do apologize if you've missed me, and I hope this one works because we're on take two. The first one just crashed, so let's go. First of all, we've been talking about ancient Greece for the past, since tracking, so two and a half or so weeks, and we're nearing the end of our conversation on Greece. So we're getting to the point where we need to start preparing and getting ready for the test, which should hopefully be next week. Today we took a pause from our learning on Greece and we talked a little bit about tomorrow, Veterans Day. And because Veterans Day is something that I've, most students very much know what Veterans Day is, but, and, and some students did some eloquent conversations about what Veterans Day was today, but none of them could really tell me why November 11th. And so I wanted to take a pause and talk a little bit about why November 11th today. So we did a little bit of background with World War One, Not a ton, as it is really a seventh grade curriculum piece nowadays. But I did want to give them a little bit of background. So we read In Flanders Field, a poem by John McRae, written in 1915, to kind of give us a, a kind of introduction to the remembrance piece of World War One. We didn't talk too much about who started the war or what was going on in the war. We mainly talked about the remembrance piece of the war. So we talked about in Flanders Field where the poppies grow. I then showed a, the art installation that is currently surrounding the Tower of London with the 888,000 ceramic poppies, one representing each life lost in the British Empire during the First World War. A beautiful, just amazing art installation that is finishing off tomorrow and then will be starting to be taken down. Uh, we've, we read a, a bit of an interesting article by an, a British actress who wants that thing just mowed down with a tank. As she sees, sees it, it would be a much more fitting representation of war and the remembrance of war to have those broken than to have them beautiful. We had an interesting debate a little bit about that today in class. And then, of course, we talked about why the November 11th on the 11th day of the 11th hour of the 11th month, 1918, the guns of World War I fell silent. So we talked a little bit about what that was, and we had great conversations, and your students might have some more things to talk with you about and questions, and use this time to, to see if you can answer them. Back to Greece. So on Wednesday, as we are taking tomorrow off to have Veterans Day, on Wednesday we will do a vocabulary quiz on ancient Greece. It'll be short, 10 questions, matching. The kids have notes in their notebooks of all the words that are there. We'll, I've picked 10, and those are the ones that will be on the quiz. That is a diagnostic test. It will go in the grade book. It won't count against average. It will be a way for us to all see where things are going before the test. We'll also, on Thursday, have another short quiz. This one will count, though, and this is a quiz on uh, Greek geography. This is kind of cut off here. This is not the sheet that is the actual quiz. This is the practice sheet that students did in class. So they were identifying different pieces of ancient Greece. There's reference on the back. They've done that in class. It is a study guide to help them. The quiz should take 10 minutes on Thursday, but it's geography, like could you identify Athens on a map? Can you identify Sparta on a map? The big things, the Aegean Sea, the Black Sea, Mount Olympus, those types of things. It's not a long quiz, but if you're not kind of practicing or reviewing, it could be a little bit tricky, so be ready for that on Thursday, geography. And then my hope is by next Monday, we will be ready for our Greek test. Our test on ancient Greece will be hopefully next Monday. That's my kind of scheduled in, penciled in goal right now. They got the review sheet today. I'll, of course, link it here as well. And that will be an opportunity for them to practice for the test, which hopefully will be next Monday. The only real thing we haven't talked too much about in class, and we do this the rest of this week, is the gods section, which is pretty familiar to most students, but we'll review gods a little bit just so they have an idea of what a Greek god was and who some of the major Greek gods were. We have talked about a few of them when we talked about the Odyssey and the Iliad, but a little bit more we'll do the rest of this week, and the next week we'll be ready for the test. So hopefully uh, everything is going well. Students are feeling confident with the Greeks, and when the Greeks are finished by next week this time, we'll get into the time we start talking about the Romans and the Roman Empire. So if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll see you soon.